Hey guys, Nubkex here. Welcome to a short little video today. We're gonna dive into updating, actually in live, in real time, my tier list here. Uh, for uh, the murky nerf patch, as I want to call it. Which yeah, I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone. We hit 10,000 subscribers uh, in the last week. Or probably oh, maybe 10,100 now, something like that. But channel's doing really well, going really strong. So I just want to say, hey, thanks everyone for the support. Uh, hit a thousand followers on my own personal Twitch channel as well. Um, and stuff over on the Zola Esports Academy channel are going great too. In fact, that should be, this music is loud. No, you can play, but you get quiet. God dang it. That's better. That's better. I hope you guys could hear me. <laughs> Oops. Oh, live stuff is still a challenge, that's for sure. Um... But yeah, everything is going great. Um, I'll probably be live on Zola today. I'll probably just try to put this up at the same time I'm going live and doing some Hero League stuff. So welcome to come over and watch that. Check this out after. Whatever you want to do, up to you. Uh, whatever you enjoy. Um, but yeah, um, I'll fill you guys in on anything new coming forward. So I don't have any immediate big plans. Just sorting out some real life stuff. Trying to get a better recording space. That kind of thing. Uh, as we become much more serious about the channel. Uh... Registers a business that kind of stuff. I don't know. It's yeah, it's a whole new new field for me um, But yeah, uh, if you guys want to put any questions what I might do is like a Q&A video at some stage So if you want to leave any questions down below I'll collect them all here and then I can answer them maybe on a stream Maybe in a video. I haven't decided yet, but hey start submitting them now So I can find them and get to them whenever I decide what I'm gonna do. All right, let's hop into this So this is the tier list. Um I've been updating this during the Lucio patch. Uh, it's something I like to do for myself, just to keep on top of the meta myself, and then notice any sort of big changes that are happening. Uh, one thing you'll see, actually, is I've switched um, this. I've changed uh, the tier names, right? So I used to just have tier S, 1, 2, and 3. I've now actually sorted them with names to make it a bit more clear. Uh, so tier S are the heroes I consider to be OP. Uh, tier 1, heroes are very strong. Tier 2 are just okay. And then tier 3 are, are underpowered. And, and basically the theory here was, okay, tier S, OP heroes, these are like first pick, first ban material. Tier 1 are very, very strong, you can be fighting over those. Tier 2 are, are okay, they're okay, they're fine. And then tier 3, I want to be more specifically underpowered, like you really probably don't want to be picking these heroes in Hero League. Um, so moving forwards, I expect tier 3 to be much smaller, these other tiers to be a little bit bigger, while well, tier 1 and 2 to be bigger. Tier 3 to be smaller, tier S as well to be smaller too. Um, I I don't know, I'm going to try it out for a while. I had it as just like a thing where I kind of split the heroes somewhat evenly between all four tiers. Uh, but I'm going to actually just go more so by their strength now, I think. So with that, let's dive in. Let's look at the Warriors. So for Warriors, we had a Varian nerf. So Varian's going to move. Alright, Varian's moving. Um, <clears throat> let's see, were there any other... I don't think there are any other large changes in terms of Warriors. Alright, but this is kind of my impression of the meta right now. I think Warrior Varian... I'm not sure exactly where he's gonna go. Potentially bottom of like tier one, potentially start of tier two. Not super duper sure. Um, I think we'll leave him maybe bottom of tier one for now. And I'm also gonna be switching around a little bit more. So we're gonna move him down then bottom of tier one. Uh, Sonia, actually gonna move up tier two uh, to being tier S and OP. I think Sonia's very strong. I don't think she's as fully in the meta as she ought to be, but yeah, she's crazy powerful. Awesome solo laning capabilities, just really, really super duper powerful. Um, over here, I'm pretty happy with this. Might move Muradin up a little bit. I think Muradin's doing pretty well now, actually. Might even move him up another notch. It's possible. I might even do that. So the reason I'm mur moving Muradin up, why am I doing this? It is because um, with the Varian nerf, that takes away one of the main tanks. So, uh, Muradin was competing against Varian and against ETC before. I now think he's probably a bit better than Varian overall. Uh, I mean, the, basically the Warriors that kind of surpassed Muradin very much so, in my opinion. The Diablo, the Varian, they've been nerfed down quite a bit. I think Varian, and that brings Muradin basically up in the tier list. If the other alternatives to, you know, these sort of CC main tank are gone, well, hey, that means he's stronger. I'm pretty happy with uh, Dehaka Zarya being up here. I think this looks pretty good. Um, I think this looks pretty good. Yeah, I think, I think I'm pretty happy with the Warriors for now with this. All right, let's take a look then at supports. So supports, you still got Malf and Tass as OP heroes. Lucio, Rhaegar, Karazim is strong. These ones is okay, and these is underpowered. I don't think the supports actually moved. So they actually, I think they did a really good, like uh, for the most part, a really good balanced pass. I think the, the, nerfs to Malfurion are actually really well handled. 
I think they were like a good subtle step. Um, is it going to be enough? I don't know. I, again, I think he's still OP. I think he's still the best support. But they have toned him down a little bit. And they might continue to do so. We'll find out. Uh, Lucio got nerfed a small bit too. I think he's still really good. I think the supports are still pretty much in the same spot. The, the one I'm a bit skeptical about is Tassadar. I don't feel like they've quite hit their balance right with his talents and stuff like that. I think they're still a bit all over the place. But they're, they're kind of getting there uh, ever so slowly. Um, but yeah, we'll see exactly how this stuff turns out. But for the moment, support I think stays the same. For Melee Assassin then, this is what I had it towards the end of the last patch. Um, I think Rag and Zeratul are probably still OP. Zeratul almost gets very little play because he's difficult, but I think he is. I've moved Greymane way up. Uh, Cursed Bullet being added. Uh, and then just my reflections on actually the relatively weak state of ranged assassins and stuff at the moment. It's not a good time to be a ranged assassin. I uh, mean, feels bad. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. But yeah, Greymane who's moved up a lot. I have him in melee, by the way, because we've got more melee than range, so it's just more clear by a little bit. But um, yeah, um, I think Greymane's actually really good. Kerrigan Valera, very strong in Hero League as well, but she can be quite countered by Malph and Tass. That's the problem with Valera. Hey, Malph and Tass, they're both OP, and they work insanely well against Valera, so that holds her back. But uh, she's very strong. Um, over here. You know what? I'm, I actually think that... I think Varian is okay. In fact, I'm going to put Varian up here. Uh, a bit higher than Alarak. Mm, I'm not a huge fan of Alarak at the moment, I have to be honest with you. In fact, I might even rate Alarak as my lowest assassin, melee assassin, at the moment. It's a very tanky meta. I don't think he fits that well in the current meta. He's very tanky. There's just other solo laners at the moment that are a bit stronger, like Sonya, Ragnaros. Um, there's others that are a bit better. Um, so I think that's a bit of a problem for him. And he's very difficult to play for, I think, at the moment, relatively little reward. You know what? We'll stick him in underpowered. <laughs> we'll stick him in, just for the sake of having someone in underpowered. We're going to stick him up there. Going to move Varian up here. Uh, I'll tell you why in a second. I'm actually moving Illidan up into the strong tier. I'm not sure if Valera is perfectly aligned or anything like that, but that's okay. We're going to move these guys over. So Varian, I think, you know, they just buffed. Varian's other builds, basically, they nerfed his tank build, they buffed the other ones. Um, you know, the... Uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm very curious. I'm going to be testing that out on stream today. That's one of my goals. Colossus Smash Varian in particular. Colossus Smash Varian in particular. There might even be something to be said for Twin Blades Varian as well. We'll find out as we go. But they just buffed the both of them. I think that's going to actually bring him back up into being a little bit more relevant. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. And I mean, they've buffed like Overpower, Live by the Sword. They buffed pretty much most of the parry talents. So, I don't know. I think there could actually be a place for him, like a Shield Buster one as well. I'm kind of curious. So we're going to put Varian up to uh, Tier 2. Might even go higher ultimately. But for now, I think that probably describes him pretty well. Um, and yeah, I think this is fairly accurate. I think that's fairly accurate. Range Assassins then over here. So you have some pretty, pretty big. We're moving into non-Blizzard music. Uh, okay, this is a different Nexus remix. That's fine. I just want to make sure we don't get a copyright flag for the music in the background here. Okay, ranged assassins then. <clears throat> I was reflecting on this and kind of going like, damn. Like, I would main ranged assassins. I'm like, ranged assassins are probably at one of the weakest spots they've been in a long time like they're not like they're very balanced overall but like there's not that many op range assassins or that dramatic or, or powerful uh and like when you've got valera and you've got when valera and, and zeratul are so strong ragnaros with sulfurous smash is so strong we've had you know a lot of warriors with like powerful dive and powerful like blow up potential it's been a fairly rough time to be a ranged assassin overall um, and I'm kind of sad now because Tychus was really, really good. I actually had him flagged as OP, but he's now moved down a lot. Not sure how much. I'm going to stick him into the OK tier for now, though. Odin's a little bit better, but the rest of like his basic attack range being nerfed, pretty big hit. Pretty big hit. Um, so, yeah, I think we're going to move Tychus to tier 2. And Gul'dan would still be tier S for me. None of the rest of them really stand out as being tier S at all. Oof. Like, Liam Ng is pretty good, but I don't know. I don't know. I think I'll leave the rest of them as is. I think I'll leave the rest of them as is. I'm actually going to move Lunara up. I'm actually a pretty big fan of Lunara. In fact, I'm going to move her up even more. Uh, maybe not that much. Maybe Zul'jin above Lunara. And Falset there. I think that looks pretty good. 
I've got Raynor, Nova, and Gaul is underpowered. I think that's fair. Alright, so Tychus is going to move down to tier 2. Lovely. Ah, uh, get it right. Okay. It's right. It's fine. Kael'thas, Tracer Chromie. In fact, oops. Hang on. Uh, these two. You guys move over. We need to move Lunara up here. Place of Falstad. Or no, not in place of Falstad. Place of Sul'jin. Sul'jin's going to move across. Uh, Falstad's going to move across this way. And Gul'dan is going to be tier S. I think Gul'dan is really strong. He brings a lot of wave clear. Horrify is very powerful. Uh, it's pretty difficult here to play. I see a lot of people being very bad at Gul'dan, but I think he is probably the best, most powerful ranged assassin for Hero League overall on a lot of maps right now. Um, the move that moves Lunara up, I feel as well, is with a lot of these other heroes being nerfed and toned down, Lunara is actually really good at melting through meaty, tanky teams because just her sheer damage output is very high. Uh, compared to Vala, she's a lot safer, I would say, than Vala is, and Zul'jin as well. Uh, Tychus used to be great, but Tychus is now unsafe as well with a shorter range. So I think Lunara actually moves up because of that. I think this is fairly fair. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that, the ranged assassins, how they're looking. Again, I feel like they're, they're in a pretty rough spot at the moment. Ranged heroes are not the strongest they've ever been, to say the least. I'm moving over to specialists, so obviously I got Murky wrong in my last tier list. He had been nerfed from PTR. I thought those nerfs would hit him harder than they actually did. He's now been nerfed by Blizzard a little bit, and it turns out those nerfs have hit him really hard. His win rate is absolutely in the dirt right now. So I think Murky uh, jumps all the way from tier 1 to tier 3. I'm going to say he's probably still better than Gaz, though. Probably. Especially Murky be good on, like, Haunted Mines. Garden of Terror, I think, are very good maps for him. Uh, so Nazebo, I think, is the one remaining sort of tier S OP. Hammer, Sylvanas, TLV, I think, are pretty good here. That's going to play some remix, but we're basically at the end, so we'll cancel the music for now. Uh, these guys being okay, I think, is fairly fair. Might move Sigara down a little bit. Hmm... I'll probably write Abathur a little bit higher than Medivh as well. Okay, so we're going to move uh, uh, Medivh to here. No, I've done this wrong. I shouldn't have moved him at all. Oops. All right, Medivh, you come back. And Zagara, you move down. Okay, and look should look something like that. So, refresh to the tier list. And again, guys, give it a thumbs up if you liked the video. It's just a quick little fun video here for you, giving you kind of a not official tier list update, but a little update. Uh, I thought, you know, what would I do in a special video? I said, well, I want to do a Q&A or something with interaction, but I need to inform you guys first. So, hey, might as well make the informative video have some value in of itself, too. Here we go with Warriors, uh, you know, Sonya, ETC, Dahaka, even. Sorry, they're all very strong. Uh, I might need to change this in the future because there's a lot of heroes here. Again, the bruise, the bruiser tank breakdown, though, is not always a clear-cut thing by any means. So I'm always... I think it's important to kind of understand the rough thing of it, but I think in terms of splitting it into two lists, it's fairly difficult to do. But yeah, mix changes like Sonya, I think, is really good. I'm probably underrated. I think Murden has become more valuable in lieu of the Varian nerfs. Um, I think Varian is weaker. Still probably okay. Uh, I have him here for now. We'll see. Well, we'll reassess this, uh, basically, by the time the next patch comes out. But, you know, fairly noticeable nerfs, I think, to him. Uh, it's tank build. Um, I think Zarya is still really good. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, Cho is probably the only underpowered uh, warrior. But then again, I mean, with the Tychus nerfs, it becomes a little bit more usable, but he's, he's still underpowered. For Hero League. Uh, in supports, then. Supports haven't changed at all, I don't think. Malf has been toned down uh, in a very good way. We'll see how that plays out. I think Tastar is a bit of a sleeper OP hit at the moment. I don't think people have fully realized how good he is. He's not picked half as much as he should be, in my opinion. He's really, really good. Uh, Lucio is great. They're all great. I think they, they kind of tweaked all the top supports in a, a fairly good way. Uh, that's not going to like wildly change the meta. And we should give some pretty good info for the next patch. Uh, melee Assassins. Pretty interesting place for Melee Assassins right now. Um... I think, you know, Ragnaros has been toned down, so he's not as overwhelmingly strong, but he's still very good. Uh, Zeratul is really good too, but very difficult, so you don't see too much of him. Greymane and Valera, probably the biggest... Oh, and, and Varian, actually, probably the biggest changes um, this time around. Um, Greymane with New Cursed Bullet and just the changing in the meta. It's just very, very good. He fits it pretty well. I think Greymane is fantastic at the moment. Uh, again, like, he, he combos, you know, he combos really well, like... If your team picks Tassadar, they ban away Valor. They take away Valor to stop the Valor Tassadar combo. Hey, Greymane Tassadar is really freaking strong too. So, you know, bear that in mind. I, I think Greymane's actually really, really strong. 
I think Valyra is very strong, but countered by the OP supports. Um, I'm very curious to try out the new Varian Assassin builds. I think they're a bit better than before. Probably not the greatest, but they're still pretty good. And then Alarak suffering in the current meta. Uh, ranged Assassins. Uh, for Probably, as you can see, the most bottom stacked group of the lot. Um, I kind of watch out. I think Gul'dan is probably the best one overall. Difficult enough to play. Uh, Lunara is, I think, becoming better and better as, again, another sort of, like, good anti-frontline uh, type range damage dealer. Just does a lot of damage and is a bit safer than a lot of the other ones. Um, she just has, you know, a great spell shield that you can take if you need to. She's got good movement speed and pretty good range. So, yeah, there you go. Specialist, Murky, mega nerfed. Really, really mega nerfed. Poor guy. Nazebo still the strongest. Murky and Gaz are the weakest. There you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed that little video. Um, yeah, great. I don't know. That probably fucking recap took fucking half the time in this video, maybe. I don't know. I wasn't keeping track of the time. Guys, thanks for watching, though. I'll catch you all. Uh, hopefully, catch me live on Solo Esports Academy. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at the moment. Maybe increasing the more days soon as well. I'm going to try to be doing more streams on my stream as well once I get some time. Kind of crazy, hectic, busy. Um, and yeah, i got loads of Road to Grandmaster actually prepared and going to be coming out this week too. So I hope you will enjoy those. Whew, leave some questions down below. Ask any an, anything. Anything goes, guys. You can ask whatever you want. Obviously, I'll filter them out if they're particularly lewd or um, too personal, like, I don't know, bank account details. Probably not going to answer that one. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. Guys, I'm going to see you. Love you and leave you. Bye-bye.